Hi everyone, my name is Alina and welcome to Art Break. For today's Art Break project, we are going to be doing a DIY puzzle. Now this is how your puzzle will look um, without it being cut out. So you'll see that you'll have your image, you'll have your puzzle pieces, and this is how it will look once the pieces are all cut out. You'll see different shapes here. Oops, whoops, dropping some of them, but yes, yeah, so that's how it looked when it's cut out. But this is our base for our puzzle. Now, the materials you need for this puzzle craft is a glue stick, a pencil, a marker, a Sharpie marker, some scissors, a ruler, and you'll need to decide whether you like to draw an image or have one printed so i have an image that i drew and an image that i printed um, you can decide which one you like to use or you can use an image from a magazine or a photo that you had and you can ask your parents to see if you can use that as a puzzle so once you decide what image you like to use then you have your puzzle materials ready now the next two op um, materials are optional um, you can have a card stock paper or a cardboard piece and these pieces would be used to make your puzzle a bit firmer than if it was just a piece of uh, printer paper. So you can decide which um, materials you'd like to use but once you have these basic materials all ready to go then you're ready to start your craft. So let's get started. To begin this craft we want to make sure we have the image we want to use and for this tutorial I'll be using an image that I drew. Um, I'm going to make sure I have my pencil and a ruler with me. Now when we begin this puzzle we want to think about how many puzzle pieces we're going to use for this puzzle. For this tutorial I'm going to be making 12 puzzle pieces. To do 12 puzzle pieces I'm going to do a base of squares all along my image. So to show you how to do that, we're going to, be, we're going to be doing two vertical lines and three horizontal lines. So first I'm going to do two vertical lines and I'm going to make them about three inches apart from each other. So I'm just going to mark it on my paper so I know where those lines are. So this is one line, this is another line, and draw two straight vertical lines down the paper. And next is to make three horizontal lines. So again, I'm going to use my ruler and I'm gonna mark three inches for three horizontal lines. There you go, I marked it, so now I can draw my horizontal lines. One, two, and three. Now that I have my base of my puzzle prepared, I'm going to be now adding in the element of the puzzle that really stands out. So, as you've probably seen in the example I showed earlier, I have my squares, and now we're going to add in the half circles. Now the half circles is what makes the puzzle a puzzle. So when we go to our image here, we can decide how, how many half circles we want to add into our puzzle. Now you can start with this square on the right here, and I'm going to add a half circle here, and a half circle here. And you can add two on one square, and then maybe one half circle on another. Just keep in mind you don't want to do half circles right across from one another because then the pieces won't connect. So this is the shape, this is the beginning shape of each puzzle piece. So as you can see I have my half circles here and you'll do that for the rest of the squares. Now you can see I've drawn all of my half circles onto my paper. None of the half circles are connecting between each square. So now my puzzle is ready to go. So 
To make the lines of the puzzle stand out a bit more, we're gonna use our marker right here. I got a Sharpie marker, and we're gonna outline the shape of the puzzle. So I'm going to start at this corner here, and we're gonna follow the line of the puzzle, and we don't wanna go inside of the half circle, so we're gonna draw around it and over. And the reason we don't want to go inside the half circle is because we want to make sure we have the shape of the puzzle. So when we cut it, we won't be cutting inside of that, the half circle because that's where the puzzles are going to connect. So again, you're just going to trace the outline of the half circles and then making sure we're not coloring inside those lines. And there you go, I have my first layer of my puzzle. And we're going to continue drawing the outline of each square on our paper. Now you can see all of our pieces are visible and highlighted and ready to cut. But before we start cutting, we want to decide whether we want to just have our puzzle on this piece of paper, or if we want to have a, a base underneath that makes the puzzle a bit firmer. For this tutorial, I'll be using a cardstock paper, and it's a bit firmer of a paper than a printed paper. So what I'm going to do is grab my paper and grab my glue stick, and I'm going to glue down my puzzle onto this cardstock. So I'm going to put some glue down. And there we go, we have some glue down. And then we're going to place our puzzle right on top. And there we go, now our puzzle should be a bit firmer than if it was just the regular paper. Now if you have some excess uh, cardstock or cardboard showing underneath, you can just trim that up and so your puzzle can line up with the base underneath. So now that our puzzle is nice and firm, we're ready to get it cut. So to begin cutting our paper, I'm going to start on this top right corner here and I'm going to grab my scissors. So when we're cutting our puzzle, we want to make sure we're following the black line. So as I mentioned before, we don't want to cut in between the half circle because then that'll make the puzzle not connect. So we'll follow the black line around the puzzle. And you can definitely take your time doing this just as long as you follow the black line. One side here, I'm going to do the other side. And there we go, we have one puzzle piece ready to go. And now we can continue cutting the rest of the squares. And then eventually our puzzle will look something like this. So I have a puzzle that I cut out myself and you can see we have some puzzle pieces here I have a bottom of the apple here and let's see what other pieces I have here so I have lots of different pieces here for my apple piece so yeah so once you cut out all your squares your puzzle pieces will come out looking something like this and you're ready, you're all set to show your puzzle to your friends and family. So once you've finished cutting your puzzle pieces, your pieces will come out something like this. As you can see, this is my finished puzzle. I cut out some pieces, and then I have a little baggie here, and you can use a baggie too to put your extra puzzle pieces in, or if you have an extra box laying around, you can put your puzzle pieces in the box. So I hope you enjoyed this DIY puzzle, and we'll see you next time. Bye.